who switched high schools after his sophomore year and then really blew up at Blue Valley North, leading them to their first ever state title. And you see the offers, Ohio State, Alabama, Clemson, everywhere wanted this guy. But here it's their offense that coughs it up and sets Wisconsin up with good field position. And his first pass is complete to Groshek. That more as we go. Now a six-year senior out there at right guard. And they're going to go to Groshek again on the screen and able to pick you. And it is one. On second and five. High formation on third and one. But Mertz wants to throw it. He's going for the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Stocky right here at fullback somebody on the defense for Illinois has him in coverage you can see a bunch of people looking in the backfield stocky in the end zone Graham Mertz his first touchdown pass of 2020 Curry the FCS All-American transfer looking for big things out of him meanwhile Graham Mertz getting taken down in the back yeah, and Kalon Tolson is just a bootleg, and he stays home. He's on the backside of it, and what you're taught on the backside of a bootleg. In the bowl game from last season. Tough. Third down at 17, getting it out quickly to Jack Dunn. And Jack Dunn trying to do the rest. Kick things off here from Camp Randall. Graham Mertz on second and 10. Finds Jake Ferguson, and the... Oh, that's not the ball. It's a shoe that's here to lead the nation. Not that time, though. Just a shoe. Third and three. Over the middle and caught. Danny Davis. So watch this throw. Right over the linebacker. It's a deep dig route. Deep in. And he gets... Like How about the start for the redshirt freshman, Graham Bird? Six for six. Look back. Well, we'll get back to it. Wisconsin getting up to the line quickly. Dumping it underneath, Jake Ferguson and sets him back. So they empty the backfield, and Mertz patiently finds Groshek. Groshek stretching out. Thirty-four seconds to go in the. Some type of cognitive tests were being done. The eyes following the fingers. His helmet was three hundred pounder but commits the penalty, and that sets up this. Off the play action, Graham Mertz is gonna tuck and run. He's got some good speed, and he... Illinois does a nice job in coverage. Wisconsin trying to take a shot. I've been impressed, Brandon, which is how comfortable Graham... They had 13, now they have 26. Fourteenth play on this drive. Play fake, wide open. There you go. Touchdown. It is Jake Ferguson. Right here is Ferguson. You see him. He's acting like he's blocking down, and he fools the fight at Camp Randall, a place that opened back in 1970. And it backs him up to second at 13, so they go screen. Back, starting right guard again. <laughs> Third down at eight. And Mertz is going to be draped down at the 20-yard line. And really stifling this ground game for Wisconsin. So now they'll go to the air. And a nice little move, stretching. Now that the football is lost by Jake Ferguson. <laughs> Illinois says they have it, and they're carrying it out of the pile towards the end zone. Grim. <laughs> Sometimes you can fool the football making smart choices. Has two touchdown passes on those 11 completions. Try to make it 12 for 12. He drops that right in the breadbasket of Jake Ferguson. He drops that in there. It's an out and up by Ferguson. Really not terrible coverage by Ware, but a perfectly placed ball. That last play went for 34 starter. And he's going for the end zone again, and it's caught again by Jake Ferguson, his second touchdown of the first half. What a response by Jake Ferguson. You fumble the football, leads to a touchdown. How about two big receptions on this drive? And Mertz with an absolutely perfect throw. 
All kinds of time. He's going deep. And it's caught at the 10 and into the end zone. Danny Davis. Four touchdown passes in your debut in the first half. Again, the middle of the defense, deep for Il Get some momentum in the second half. They grab a huge loss for that Illinois defense. Tossing it to Danny Davis, saying hello to his mom, Michelle. Trying to make it 15 for 15, and he will pitch. So they got back 11 yards, but still third and five, trying to set up a screen. And that was one that Illinois really needed. Here's Graham Mertz going back to work. And he's just going to tuck this and head for the sideline. A long way down passes two of them to the aforementioned Jake Ferguson and Evan. This time a pistol for half about it at least. Some pressure, and there's Pryor making up for the consecutive completions. He's going to try to break it. Does he get a chance to? No, because Tariq Barnes. Tariq Barnes has come in and done a nice job. Second down. Yeah, he blitzes right up the A-gap and really just runs right through Garrett Groshek. He had the angle, tough angle. Because of targeting in the bowl game. Throws, curious as to whether James sees any of that as well. Well, we know Baker Mayfield doesn't lack any confidence, and they say Mertz doesn't either now for a takeaway for Illinois. That was great maturity in the pocket by Mertz. Two-degree night in Madison. Third and seven, Mertz looking for Kendrick Pryor, and he's got him. From home, as we've got 15 minutes left, and Wisconsin owning a 28-7 lead, and Garrett Groshek couldn't stand to cut that hair. I will say that. Oh, I think it's awesome. <laughs> Something special. A prototypical Wisconsin player. Cards now for Groshek, Nakia Watson. Tossing Mertz in the ball game right now. Stay mentally sharp and take those reps. Though, who has that speed to get around the edge? You're a little bit more by committee versus having one guy. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, only 30 <laughs> offers. Groshek, 13 on that line. To identify players in high school that they know they can develop. We're gonna wake up and have 10 wins this year. <laughs> Absolutely. Run, 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 run. And this time they'll pass it and look who is wide open. Jake Ferguson, last year on October 19th in Champaign, October 23rd, 2020, belongs to Graham Merch, Jake Ferguson, and the Wisconsin Badgers.